thousand dollars for the families. Everyone, please join us in welcoming to the stage the Honorable Lee Brand, Mayor of Fresno City. ในที่ป้อมอาจจะมุ่งเจ๋อจุ๋ยจีรองรถไปเจนเนมองมุ่งปล่อยตัวนั่งเตาตาตัวเชียร์ที่ซีลีแบรนด์ใหญ่ตั
up next we have the superintendent of fresno unified school district who is also my boss and might i say a very down-to-earth and humble person Dr. Robert Nelson, who is also very supportive of our Hmong language programs and the district. That means I better behave here on stage. ตอนใจต่อไปตัวเธอจะฝึกเอาลูกเจอกันเธอเฟสอนยูนิฟายสกูลดิสตริกตัวน้องก็ยังอีตัวว่าหนูมัวลูกเชียร์ได้ปอด
as a community, especially at a time when we need to come together. I want to wish everyone a happy new year and hope you all enjoy the celebration. Thank you. But then I'm drawing your robe to turn to cancer and do all. Up next is the city council. City council, Louis Chavez. Thank you. Good afternoon. First of all, as the council member of the district, I want to welcome everybody to Southeast Fresno. We're very proud and honored to host the Bong New Year celebration. We've been doing this for a number of years. And what's more fitting to, than for Fresno to say that we're a welcoming and diverse city than to host the world's biggest celebration of the Hmong New Year. So I want to start off by talking a little bit about our experience with the Hmong community. You know, as the Hmong community, the Latino community, the African American community. But at the end of the day, we are one community. And that's our, our strength is our diversity. A couple of days ago, we celebrated right here in the fairgrounds the unveiling of the city of Fresno's first official bilingual sign, which will be in English and in Hmong. And that sends a very powerful message to not just the state of California, but the world, that that's who Fresno is. Our deep pleasure that we join in honoring Hmong Cultural New Year celebration as host of the largest Hmong Cultural New Year celebration in the nation. This year's event, celebrated on December, from December 26th to January 1st, will attract over 100,000 people to the city of Fresno to celebrate the Hmong culture and tradition. So as the new year approaches, it is a good time, it is a good time to reflect and give thanks for all your hard work, dedication, and resources that you have provided to our community. Hmong New Year is a wonderful event to come together and celebrate many contributions of the Hmong community in our city. This event serves to strengthen our community by promoting educational advancement, economic development, community engagement, and cultural enlightenment. Your commitment is invaluable and inspiring to all of us, and our city is grateful and acknowledges your many accomplishments. So on behalf of the city of Fresno, the mayor and the city council do hereby proclaim Thursday, December. The city council uh, who are with us today, uh, city council member Miguel Arias, Mike Carhassi, Nelson Esparza, and Esmeralda Soria. Let's please uh, give them a big applause. Also joining us is our former uh, chief, Fresno Chief, uh, former Chief uh, Jerry Dyer. If you can stand and wave. Thank you for joining us. Fresno Unified School District Trustee Elizabeth Jansen Rosas. And we also have the Fresno City College President, Dr. Carol Goldsmith. And then former Mayor of Ridley. Um, I'm not sure, I can't read it well. Um, is it retired Larry Walter or my apology for that I can't read that well uh, and then we also have Merced uh, Board of Supervisor Lee Lor Lee Lo. and last but not least uh, Sacramento uh, School Board Trustee Maiva thank you all for joining us this morning If we miss anyone, please make sure to come and let us know. I know that Mayor Steve Lee will be speaking later. Is he here? Tôi không nhiều giờ để về chồng mong là tổng đến nhân đội chờ. Ta sẽ nông nổi được tôi chỉ tàu được cô trò để ít từ sợ chế tua trong đợt nở một lúc về một tiệc Ali Montina. Bộ tên là đó tại tàu nở. Good morning. I'm uh, Ari Martinez, uh, District Director for. Uh, County Supervisor Sal Quintero. He apologizes, he couldn't make it. He had some uh, family uh, issues that he had to deal with. Uh, but he did... Uh, and 
，我等人家一样在大北都在先发我要是，他说呃 ，member 要到 Oakland City。要来到海鸟山弗兰西斯科，到奥克兰的话，用寂寞梦中哦。用寂寞一点哦。哈哈哈。Thank you， 鸟兄 ，everybody， 我们要先唱。We are the first Hmong woman city council member in the state of California. You know that we have English here, we have Mikasi, Vita, Kusako, Bicho, two hundred and twenty five, four hundred, two hundred and twenty four, and then the bands are four. First, I want to thank the Fresno New Year Committee for their hard work and dedication to ensure that we have a joyous and beautiful New Year. Thank you so much, Mitchell. You did a wonderful job. You and your team did great. I also want to thank my Tau Clan from all up and down California for their unwavering support of my leadership. Well, thank you so much for your support. We need to share that more each or other good job. Tell Clan, you you know to go on stage. So thank you so much. I'm really thrilled that you were able to come stand with me and support me yet again. I also want to acknowledge a couple elected and some folks that are running for office. First, I want to acknowledge Mayor Steve Lee. Mayor Steve Lee is running for uh, uh, Elk Grove mayor again. Let's all come together and let's actually support him to hopefully run for state assembly in the future. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I also, right here on my right of me is Mai Bang. She is Sacramento School Board Director, but she's also currently running for Sacramento City Council, which if she wins, will make her the first city council member in the, in the city of Sacramento. So we need to also support her. Nyo Ishanta Mai Yo Li Lor, New York Supervisor serving Merced County. And she's currently seeking re-election again. We need her to stay in the seat. So Ben and Chaw, Ban Tse, Li Luo Ha. Now the Kui Shan the Noa, your Bobby Pit Du. Bobby Pit Du, he is running for Congress right here in Fresno for the 22nd Congressional District, which is so important that we make sure that we support Bobby Pit Du in all his endeavors as he's running for this great seat. He's also been endorsed by the statewide Democratic Caucus as well. Thank you all for coming out today to help us open the biggest Hmong New Year in the world, right here in Fresno. Not many of you know who I am. So again, my name is Shane Tao, and I'm proud to be Hmong. I was born and raised in Stockton, California. My father's name is Yu Mai Tao, and my mother's name is Chua Cha Tao. I grew up in a really big family, like most Hmong families. And you know, when they arrived to the United States from a war-torn country, they came with nothing. And so for me, I'm the seventh of 10 kids. Like most Hmong families, we have really big families. We grew up in poverty, where the roles of traditional parenting sometimes were switched, where we have to teach our parents how to interpret documents, fill out forms for them, counting their money when they were at the grocery stores to make sure that they got the right change back. And I went to all public schools. I took, break, I took a break between high school and college. I went to community college, transferred to UC Berkeley, and all of that while being a single mom. I'm a single mom of my very handsome son, Benedict. He's 13 years old. You see, in my life, there was many hard times, many trying times. But I always knew that I wanted to make an impact on my community and beyond, to leave it better than how I found it, and more importantly, to help make it better a better place so that if my refugee parents from 1979 were to be placed here today, that they would be able to navigate it and receive the help that they need to be successful, something that they did not get back then. After completing an internship in a council member's office, I knew that creating policies and, the, and rules that we live by, including how various resources are given out, and making sure to have a seat at, a, at the table to make the decision that we need as a Hmong community, that that's where I needed to be, to make sure that my voice is here, my experience is heard. But I never thought that I would be a council member, because I'll actually like to be behind the scenes, 
because I like to actually get things done. But when you've worked alongside the community to empower those who are less fortunate, to empower the marginalized groups who don't have a true voice at the decision-making table, and they ask you to run for office to represent them, you have to take a moment to grasp the idea and then you have to ask yourself, why me? Well, if so many people out there is saying, it's you that you we want to represent us, then why not you? You have to get up and you have to run. I ran in the city uh, for city council in the city of Oakland last year, and I won in a competitive race of seven people. But I didn't do it on my own, because Beimong people, we never do it on our own. It was the community who asked me to run, and it was the community who helped me win in this very competitive race. And so many others that I met along the way after I won, had continued to actually be very supportive of my success as a council member. Because as an elected, there's no I, there's only us. Because I cannot do it without you all, my Hmong community. You see, representation matters. As an Oakland City Council member, who have probably only maybe one or maybe no, no Hmong people at all in my district, you know, having a seat at the de decision-making table is very important. Even if I am not your council member, and even if I don't directly represent you, I hold many responsibilities for myself. One of those responsibilities is to find ways in which I can uplift our Hmong community and our Hmong voice. So as your Hmong daughter, as your Hmong sister, I take this responsibility seriously. That is why I've taken charge of working with other electeds throughout the state of California and beyond to represent the Hmong voice. Today, I am California's first vice president on the Asian Pacific Islander League of Cities Caucus. What does that mean? That means that I have the platform for which I can advocate for, for which I can help the API community. And for me, that means to represent the Hmong voice throughout the state of California. So you see, even if I am the representative in Oakland and I live in Oakland, I have gone far and beyond to find ways to help us Hmong people. So I represent you too. And I make sure that every other elected that I run into hears about the Hmong voice and the Hmong experience and make sure that we create policies that us, that us Hmong people are, need, uh, are needing in the community so dearly. This year's theme is preserving the past and building the future. Understanding your culture and your tradition is so important. And this past year, I spent a lot of time within our beautiful Hmong community and I have grown an even stronger respect and love for our people our culture and the diversity that we bring to the community. That's why it's important to support our Hmong brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Whether they're a boy or girl, whether they want to be an entrepreneur, a dentist, nurse, or a politician like some of us on stage. It's important that we make their dreams accessible, to have access to their dreams because representation matters. Having our Hmong people in all kinds of spaces is important to our Hmong pursuit to thrive, not just to survive, but to thrive. It's important to have our Hmong people in every aspect, in every career, so we must support them. Because who knows more about us, about our struggles, and about our life experiences? Who will know more about us, but about, the li about how we can make our lives better? and what resources we need. No one else but us. That is why representation matters. That is why we need to support each other. And before I end, I want to remind everyone that 2020 is very is a very important year. It is a presidential year. If you're not registered, please go register. And if you don't know if you're registered, please go register. <laughs> and then most importantly, go vote. Please make sure you vote. And if and if you need help with voting, I think HIP is here. HIP is Hmong Innovating Politics, and they should have a booth around here somewhere and they can help you register. Because every vote counts. They truly do. And remember, you will have to vote twice this year, once in early March and again in November. And remember when you vote, vote for our brothers and sisters up here. Vote for Mayor Steve Lee. Vote for Mai Yang Fang. Vote for Lee Lord. And vote for Bobby Pritu. 
So if you take anything from my speech today, make sure that you go and vote. <laughs> But I also have a resolution here for the Fresno New Year Committee because you've all done such a great job. So I want to call up the Fresno Mom Community, uh, uh, Fresno New Year uh, uh, Committee, Mitch Hearn, and anybody else who would like to join him so I can present you with this uh, resolution from the city of Oakland. And I just want to read this a little bit. Uh, uh, so. Thank you so much for all that you all do. In celebration of Fresno Hmong New Year, presented to the Hmong Cultural New Year Committee, whereas Hmong New Year is traditionally celebrated at the end of the rice harvest season in Laos and Southeast Asia in late November and early December, whereas Hmong New Year spans multiple days with each village starting and ending the new year on a different date to allow other villages to come support and visit each other. And whereas Hmong New Year is a time to give thanks to ancestral spirits and spend time with families. And whereas Hmong New Year celebrations include music, dance, food, courtship, games for youth, including ball ball, throwing a throwing ball game. And whereas Hmong Americans across the United States celebrate the New Year from October to December. And whereas the Hmong Cultural New Year Committee has successfully organized the Fresno Hmong New Year Festival festivities for the past three years drawing in over 120,000 people from all across the United States and throughout the world. And now be it resolved that on this 26th day of December 2019, the City of Oakland recognizes the cultural and historical significance of Hmong New Year, expresses the deepest respect for Hmong Americans celebrating this occasion, and wishes Hmong Americans and all individuals who observe this holiday a happy New Year. Thank you all so very much. I am the council member of the Luzha, the Oakland, California. Thank you. And Yang Zhong Zhong Cha. Okay, what then I'm drawing is your drop it to city council to the Oakland door. Shang Ta. Then John John is John Lu. By vote, John John. They did tell her up to night check. Jing Na. And John John by vote. ยอดรองน้าในที่ปอหาเตเตมอนโตตูตูทางไทยเจอ่าบัวเป็งสื่อละมุนดอชาวอนอวจือเจ้าเต้เจ้าชาวยอดเต้เจ้าเมกาน่